Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another fun video for you where I will break down who I deem were the top 10 most hottest, sexiest women within Star Trek. Now, Star Trek, as we all know, is one of the most iconic sci-fi franchises of all time, consisting of many movies, novels, TV series and animated shows and in this breakdown, I will select the female characters from all of the TV shows and all of the movies, so of course that is everything from the original series, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Discovery, Star Trek Picard, all of the original series movies and all of the Next Generation movies and also all of the J.J. Abrams reboot movies as well. Now I've done previous breakdowns on the hottest movie actresses of certain decades and as with those lists these picks are all done in good taste so no worry, all images here are safe for works and I will also briefly touch on each character's roles within the franchises and the actresses who played those roles as well. Now if you don't agree on my selection of this choice or you have different top 10 lists in terms of this subject matter then let me know in the comments and we can discuss further if there are other alternatives that you think should have made the list within my breakdown if you enjoy me doing breakdowns such as this and you'd like to see me concentrate on certain other genres movie franchises television franchises or actresses from a certain decade or era then let me know in the comments with your suggestions and if i agree with them as well then i could provide other breakdowns such as this in the future so with further ado, let's start now with the top 10 most hottest and sexiest female characters within the Star Trek franchise. So at number 10 on this list we have Tasha Yar, the first entry on this list made her appearance on The Next Generation on its first season and Tasha Yar was the chief of security on the Enterprise and with her short blonde hair, slim toned figure, the character who was played by Debbie Crosby was a very attractive not necessarily an iconic character but very pleasing on the eye particularly for a lot of fans in the early seasons of the show she wasn't particularly an integral character throughout the series she did actually die at the end of the first season but she returned later throughout the series but still very slim very pretty and one of the most attractive women within the star trek franchise for sure certainly a firm favorite amongst many fans in the beginning of the next generation so that is tashia at number 10. So then at number 9 on this list we have a very controversial entry I'm sure and that is Michael Burnham from Star Trek Discovery. Now this will be a very unpopular choice because if you know anything about Star Trek Discovery and the critical reception amongst fans it hasn't been the most liked about show to be honest with you but putting aside the seemingly unpopularity of the character there's no doubt about it that actress Sonequa Martin-Green is very beautiful and a sweet natured woman she has a lovely smile she's very slim figure overall she's very charismatic and bright off the screen as well so there's no doubt about her appeal as an attractive woman now to say that the character Michael Burnham has been divisive amongst fans is a massive understatement and we could have various debates as to why that is but overall Sonequa is still a very lovely woman she has primarily certainly within the first two seasons she has that short hair shaven at the sides look but i actually preferred the look that she had at the end of season three when she had that much more of a longer braided hair i think that suited Sonequa better and it just made her far more attractive even more so let's hope that she maintains that look throughout the upcoming season four as well so despite her unpopularity as a character within the star trek franchises there's no doubt about it that sneak martin green is a very beautiful attractive actress and that for me makes michael burnham one of the hottest women within the star trek franchise at number eight on this list we have carol marcus and that is from the movie star trek into darkness which was released in 2013 continuing the J.J. Abrams rebooting of the franchise and Alice Lee was very much of a stunning blonde playing Karen Marcus who was an alternate version of the original character from Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan and here she was the daughter of Peter Weller's character who was the main antagonist or one of the main villains throughout this movie and here Alice Eve has that very sweet smile super ultra toned body which of course was showcased in that infamous scene now where she enters the chamber with Kirk and she has to get changed in front of him so that was a very appealing scene shall we say and perhaps one of the best highlights within the movie of course but Alice Eve has that very sweet very pretty look about her unfortunately she never returned back for the franchise for the third installment Star Trek 
beyond but without doubt she's very stunningly attractive and I think Alice Eve has always been very fit and very easy on the eye whatever movie or television role that she looks at so maybe it's a shame that Carol Marcus couldn't make it back for the third installment but without doubt one of the most prettiest and stunning women to look at with a very hot figure overall so a very worthwhile entry on this list at number eight Coming in at number 7 on this list, we have Nerissa from Star Trek Picard. Now coming into the first season of the most recent show within the Star Trek franchise, Nerissa was very much of the villain throughout the show. She had a duplicitous role within Starfleet and she was also part of the rebellious Zat Fush group and with her brother intact they were very much looking to rebel and gain revenge overall as to what happened with the recent attacks involving the Romulans. With her tall, supermodel, statuesque looks and figure about her, Peyton certainly left an impression with Nerissa, who was very sexually confident and she was constantly in these very tight black outfits throughout the entire show and she is very much of a sexualized character in terms of the demeanor she was very much the alpha in terms of her relationship within her brother and there was even slight hints of an incestuous relationship between the two but the show maybe thankfully didn't follow through on that overall but without question Peyton looked fantastic in this role and she played the character very well for the limited screen time that she was given throughout the series overall Nerissa had a very much of an evil and ruthless personality about her which was always easy on the eye and it's no surprise that they got Peyton to play this character because if you remember she also appeared in the Gotham television series as Poison Ivy and she also looked fantastic in this series overall so maybe not the most memorable amongst the most female characters within the franchise but without that one of the hottest and sexiest women within the franchise overall so a very fine pick for Narasa and Peyton list at number seven within this breakdown. We then have a double entry on this list for the 6th and 5th positions and that is Uhura from the original series and both the J.J. Abrams reboot as well. Now for many original and hardcore Star Trek fans Uhura is perhaps the most iconic female character within the whole franchise and if we look at her played in both women in their prime they were both super hot as well. We have of course Michelle Nichols first of all making her appearance in her peak in the original series she was very much of a cultural icon at the time of course one of the most important and impactful female roles in that time overall in television broadcast history of course infamously where she shared the first on-screen interracial kiss with captain kirk as well and for many michelle nichols was really the iconic character for here we had a female who was stunningly attractive very confident but never attributed to her colour in terms of the position that she had within the Star Trek Enterprise she was very much valued and respected by fans and also by characters alike on the show so that really boosted as to why she has such an iconic status on the screen and to a degree this attractiveness was replicated very much by famous actress Zoe Saldana in all of three of the Star Trek J.J. Abrams movies and Zoe was very much equally as beautiful and sweet in the role and she also overall performed a decent performance within the movies they gave her version of Uhura a far more active role and of course this was coupled with the fact that she had an ongoing relationship with Spock as well so she was far more active in terms of the action as well as being able to be multi bilingual as well so they tried to give Uhura much more of a prominent role throughout these more films overall and yes Zoe Saldana very much recreated the same kind of classic look with those very much of the crimson red type dress and the knee high boots as well very much having that classical look that we saw from the original Star Trek series and Zoe Saldana on her own is very much of a stunningly attractive woman as well so both actresses Michelle Nichols and Zoe Saldana looked very stunningly playing the character of Uhura so that's why I coupled them together to occupy both the sixth and fifth positions within this breakdown we move on to number four on this list and that is Beverly Crusher from the next generation the tall model like redhead was the chief medical officer on the enterprise and she was fantastically played by Gates McFadden so naturally stunningly beautiful exhibiting a real sense of composure sophistication and class about her and what was great about Beverly Crusher is that she never really had to be sexualized to be attractive in the show you never 
very rarely saw her in these toy outfits because she didn't need it she exhibited her true attractiveness by just her overall demeanor overall in terms of the character she did appear very much so in the first season she left the second season but then she came back for the third season and then stayed all the way through to the end of the series and also made recurring appearances in the next generation movies as well it was sometimes hinted at a love relationship between her and Jean-Luc Picard but it was never really fully realized throughout the show actress Gates McFadden did criticize the producers for not really fully realizing the potential of the character and that's a sentiment that shared amongst fans that for all their popularity they didn't feel that Beverly Crusher was truly an integral to the major story arcs within the show overall but despite that she's still a fantastically beautiful woman but no doubt about it Gates McFadden are one of the all-time most attractive women within all Star Trek at number four at number three on this list now we have Diana Troy from The Next Generation. Now for many fans, without Star Trek fandom, many of them would have pitched Diana Troy at number one in any list on the most attractive women within the franchise and Diana Troy is certainly a distinctive character, always looking very toned, she had this very more busty, curvaceous figure about her very honestly looking in that very tight skin tight uniform that she had it was almost like a bodysuit that she wore many times throughout the show and Diana Troy had that more exotic very Mediterranean almost Greek goddess look about her her ability throughout the show was that she could sense people's thoughts and emotions and she had the rank as counsellor overall she did have the potential to rise to commander but she turned the role down her main love interest throughout the movies and the show was of course William Riker played by Jonathan Frakes and that would be extended right the way through the movies over to the most recent series Star Trek Picard as well so the other choice stunningly beautiful with a fantastic figure played with real sincerity I would say by Marina Sertris and she maintained her beauty right throughout the series in its seven seasons and she has very much become one of the most iconic characters within all of the next generation definitely without question one of the most attractive women within the franchise and I would say overall one of the most attractive women with all of sci-fi series and franchises overall so despite many people deeming her at number one I do have her at number three but despite that I feel that Deanna Troy is without question one of the most hottest women with all of the Star Trek franchise and now we come to the runner-up position at number two of this breakdown and this will be a very controversial choice for anybody that does watch this video but for me I think it's justified at number two we have seven of nine from Star Trek Voyager now this will be a massive point of contention with anybody watching this as seven of nine is regarded by most fans and non-fans as not only the most attractive and hottest woman within Star Trek but also one of the most hottest females within the sci-fi series overall making her appearance in the fourth season premiere of Star Trek Voyager she truly electrified viewers when she made her appearance she was initially a former drone of the infamous Borg species and she had to work together with the Voyager crew to defeat the species 8472 with her stunning blonde looks amazing figure which was infamously consumed in that extremely tight hugging catsuit she immediately caught the eyes of all viewers when she entered the show and she clearly was a super sexualized character brought in to shake up the show and spike up the viewers because Voyager hadn't really gained the same amount of traction and reception as what was previously found with both the next generation and deep space nine now there was some criticism as many felt that it was such a blatant and obvious inclusion to gain more viewers overall within her appearance but there was some depth given to the character in terms of her journey throughout the show we saw very much she would gain relationships in, with characters such as Jakutai and then Harry Kim as well and the Doctor and there was really further depth added to her character where she would really struggle to connect and discover more of her humanity throughout the show she had very much of a blatant but overall honest perception of certain situations and I think that's what added to her character overall in terms of her naivete as well she did make a return to the franchise currently within Star Trek Picard with Jerry Ryan the actress still looking very fabulous and attractive as well and she had a far more adventure and active I would say 
role within that show and her performance was deemed one of the best aspects of the first season of Star Trek Picard. Now Seven of Nine is very much revered as one of the most popular and iconic Star Trek characters. Now obviously this is very much down to her sex appeal which is very undeniable but this is primarily the reason why I have to put her at number two because of the clear intent to sexualize her in terms of her appearance which would automatically make her even hotter than most of the actresses on this list and really if we think about it she was by design a sexualized character even enhancing the already beautiful and stunning model looks that Jerry Ryan already had naturally so we are then to say that is this because they allowed her to give her the cat suit and be a clearly sexualized character but is it more a case that the other actresses on this list weren't allowed to have that more sexualized role and is that primarily why Seven of Nine stands out so much more than the other characters or the other female characters within Star Trek we can leave that up to debate but that's the primary reason why I have her at number two and it's overall the justification of my choice for number one on this list and so we come to it at last then my number one choice on this list of who I deem the most hottest most attractive woman within all of the Star Trek franchise and that is Jatsia Dax from Deep Space Nine making her appearance on the show in the first season as a trill, sharing a symbiotic relationship with her older being called Dax, of which of course Jatsia is the host body, having the entity's memories and experience but also having the youth and appearance and what an appearance it is. Actress Terry Farrell playing a role was tall, statuesque and just sheerly undeniably beautiful with those alluring eyes and very much of an assured and confident and sophisticated demeanor about her that see it dax is short for me everything you could possibly want in not only a female character within a television show but also a woman in general supremely intelligent she also had a very vital role within the space station as the chief science officer and lieutenant overall and she had very close friendly relationships and bonds primarily with commander cisco and major kira of course and she would go to have more romantic relationships firstly with Dr Bashir and later on Worf and she had very standout scenes in terms of her overall look and attractiveness there was the episode where both her and Cisco go back and meet the original crew from the original series overall she had that more classical look that we had from the original series with that short red crimson skirt and the knee-high boots Jatsia Dax looked fabulous there was also that other episode later on in the season where she stripped down to her bikini when she was walking alongside Lieutenant Worf as well so Terry Farrell as an actress was always a fabulous supermodel-esque actress about her and she was one of the most alluring features of Deep Space Nine overall and primarily the reason why she was number one because unlike Seven of Nine which I had at number two you never had to sexualize Jatsia Dax. Yes there would be certain episodes where she would wear much more attractive outfits but for the most part she would be in her Star Trek uniform look with her hair tied back as well she had that iconic look because of the trill markings that she had on the side of her face but she never had to over sexualize her she was always stunningly sexual and attractive wearing any normal uniform and that's the primary reason why I have Jatsia Dax at number one she of course had another infamous element without the show because she had the first lesbian relationship throughout the series overall but that didn't deter any way at all from her integrity on the show now it was very sad of course because her character was killed off at the sixth season finale of the show and that's because Terry Farrell wanted to star in another show and there was a conflict and overall they couldn't accommodate her leaving the show and continuing on very much so so it was a very sad departure for many fans at the time that she couldn't last all the way throughout the seven seasons of the show but no doubt about it for me without question the most hottest sexiest and most attractive female within all of the star trek franchise that's here that's played wonderfully by terry farrell at number one on this list overall so that's who i deem the most attractive woman with all of the star trek franchise and that is jatsia dax so that's it overall then in my countdown who i deem were the top 10 most attractive female characters within all of star trek i hope you've really enjoyed this breakdown and as i mentioned at the start of the video if you dispute or have different choices as to what i have in terms of who you felt were the most attractive women within star trek then let me know in the comments below and we can 
have a further debate if there's any actresses or female characters that you feel that I've left out within this breakdown then I can consider them also in further videos on this topic as well as I mentioned before you can check out similar breakdowns of this type within my channel and I will leave the links within the description as well if you like this video please also hit the like and subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content and breakdowns such as this in the future but that's it for now take care of yourselves on my breakdown of what I deemed were the top 10 most hottest women within all of Star Trek that's it for now take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon